Okay, we're back in Pozo for the training diaries. The second year in a run, we started them last year and the same rules apply. Uh, the video footage probably isn't going to be the best quality you've ever seen because the little camera I've got uh, and we're filming obviously from the nice secret hideout that is Albert's house. Uh, Albert, if you don't remember, bust his nose last year. We're staying with him again. Uh, pretty handy with the broom as well this year. He's definitely improved on his uh, sweeping techniques. So we're back in Albert's house and we've been having the spy come out and we've been catching the action on the water. Uh, not too many people have turned up just yet, but we have seen a few appearances uh, the first of the appearances we're going to see this uh, this week or this today on uh, the diaries Adam Lewis he came all the way from Tenerife I know miles so he came down here uh, we were chatting with him he was talking about all the moves he's been training hard he hasn't had much wind really up for it sets off the beach I'm sort of thinking I'll get the camera ready I'll give him a couple of runs to warm up he goes out comes back ends up down the thing first run out nice backy i didn't see this i was actually just getting the camera ready lands sails away 10 feet sort of falls off the side the board blows over catches his hand on the fin boom big gash on his hand pretty deep so he hit the bone like big chunk seven or eight stitches at the local hospital disaster so and that was pretty much his trip we sat here for a couple of days watching the action he's back in Tenerife now so that was Adam Lewis's trip to Pozo uh, let's hope he's coming back I think he's going to come back this uh, this week the winds kicked in so I imagine to see him in the next couple of days so uh, Adam Lewis uh, get well soon mate okay so who else is here uh, Mussolini made appearance the other day some nice tackers backside 360 got into a little battle with the arch back loop he's pretty famous for that but I think uh, he got into a battle with Victor Fernandez both doing arch backies and I think I'd have to say Victor won that battle uh, but we know Mussolini can do some big arch backies but he definitely wasn't the winner on this case Victor just about had him uh, but Mussolini did have one of the wipeouts of the day I just caught it off the off the corner of the screen but if you blink you will miss it so I'll try and slow it down uh, I'm not sure what he was doing it might have been a backside 360 gone right might be a forward I'm not sure what do you think I don't know that's the move right there that's it so it's a pretty nasty looking crash uh yeah and that was Mussolini I haven't seen him since turned up for one day smashed it a bit and then he uh, I haven't seen him since Victor Fernandez uh the first time I saw him sail he wasn't quite on it he was crashing a bit and it wasn't quite going his way that was in the morning session uh, and I was thinking oh what's wrong with Victor maybe he's had down the line too much uh, but then he came back out for the afternoon uh, and he was laying down some moves some big doubles uh some nice tweak push loops uh you know obviously the tackers and normal stuff he does so Victor Fernandez does look on it you don't need to worry if you're a Victor Fernandez fan uh, and another boy who is on it Philip Costa uh, we didn't see much of him I've seen him try in one move a lot and that is the bog standard cheese roll yeah no the cheese roll you did hear me right that's what he's been doing but my sources tell me he's not after just the cheese roll because that's obviously not a big scoring manoeuvre. He wants the cheese roll back loop. Uh, and again, my sources tell me he's landing pretty consistently. I haven't got one on camera. We haven't seen one here in Pozo, but I've heard uh, he's pretty much nailing them. Uh, obviously, that's a Bougemar uh, trick, but uh, we've seen that on for Bougemar on starboard tack. And he, obviously, Costa's going to bring it here to port tack. It's going to be interesting to see at the competition or we see him uh, training up to the event if we see him, if we do see him land up move if I do get on camera I'll put it on as quick as possible we did see a pretty big double from Costa the other day we were whooping in a hollering from the window he's actually put it online already on YouTube we've got it from a different angle now but he absolutely stomps it it's near enough planing full planing as he lands and just lands perfectly upright downwind as good as you would land any planing forward uh, if he does that in the comp I think there's going to be a lot of people scared he's also got the stall double we saw him go up and look like a forward uh, and just chucks in two rotations it was pretty much off nothing I mean he was doing a lot of runs where you were just getting nothing on a run and then he suddenly just looked like he got annoyed and do something uh, and he didn't just do like a normal shove it or a little donkey kick or something he does a nice double or this uh, stalled double so Philip Costa looks like he's on form at the moment and he's definitely going to be one to beat uh, women's fleet uh, Dida Moreno I was thinking where's Dida I haven't seen her for a bit I've seen Danny Bruce out there landed some nice one-handed back loops 
trouble is, it wasn't Danny Bruce, it was actually Dida. Uh, she's got this bright colour wetsuit, made me think it was Danny, obviously on starboard Severn. Uh, and I was thinking, I saw her land two perfect one-handed back loops, like on the same run. And I was like, oh, Danny's sailing all right. You know, he's got a nice backside 360, nice one about it. And it's actually Dida. So apologies to Danny Bruce, but he probably won't mind me saying he looked like Dida because she's sailing pretty good at the moment. So she looks like she's back on form. And it's going to be interesting to see how she goes. Also in the ladies' fleet, uh, we have another girl. I'm used to seeing her quite a lot. Uh, obviously, Justina Shnaddy. Uh, she had that terrible crash last year where she pretty much broke her foot into little pieces, got 13 screws in her foot still. Uh, so she's got some uh, demons to overcome this year in Pozo. But she's been out there and uh, she was pretty worried. She told me she was worried about landing the back loops here because it's so windy. But she has been getting quite a few. I think she's got at least a couple every day, every session she's been out. So she's actually really confident with the back loops. She's still trying to get the fear of the forwards, the proper forwards, but that will come. I know it will. So uh, that's what she's fighting at the moment, but the back loops are looking good. Um, back from injury, another person back from injury. Uh, this one of the Sanley brothers, uh, Alish. He's, he's done pretty much all of last year out with a back injury. We've seen him out there and he's been busting out some really nice moves, some big one-footed backies, uh, tweak push loops, you know, his backside 360, he's got that down. So he looks like a force to be reckoned with this year. So it's going to be interesting to see. There are a lot of guys that have sort of come back this year. We've got all the young kids like Alessio. He is just stomping, playing in tweak pushy after playing in tweak pushy. Uh, not quite got his forwards on the way in sorted yet. I saw him try a couple of them and they didn't go quite right. Uh, but I've heard from uh, a lot of people that he's sailing really good and he's going to be one to watch. Um, also, one of the other kids, uh, Omar, he's changed sponsors this year. He's on Loft and Patrick. Saw him just, I thought, I'll just give him a quick film, see what he's doing. Frontside 360, bam, straight first move. I was like, yeah, he seems to be sailing okay. So, yeah, Moritz, I've heard good stuff about him. Got no footage of him. Uh, apparently, he's got all the wave moves down and he's really is one to watch i've been told and again by a lot of people so as soon as we get some footage of him the only footage i've got of him is actually getting towed behind a windsurfer just out the window here uh there was him i think as uh, it pablito or uh, i don't even know he's saying we've got alessio as well so there's those three guys out there having a play getting towed like in about 40 knots of wind with this like slalom gear and a sup behind so that was pretty funny to watch uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it from the first diaries. I'm going to try and keep them going, roll them probably shorter than this one and keep doing them every couple of days. Uh, but what are the diaries without a bit of blood? You've had a bit of blood from Adam Lewis. We haven't had any nugget huggers. Where can we get the nugget huggers from? Well, don't worry. We've got a fellow nugget hugger uh, wearer in the house uh, and no guesses, no prizes for guessing where he's from. He's obviously from Italy. They love the Nugget Huggers. So big up to Andrea just uh, posing in the Nugget Huggers in the house. Uh, ciao, ciao, bella. Uh, and what else have we got? Dogs. Where's the dogs? No dogs this one? Of course we've got some dogs. Andrea again, the Italian, uh, has been at it trying to de-rig with some dog just running up his kit. So that's pretty much it for the diaries. Uh, I'm looking to get a sponsor. Then we can maybe up the, pr the, up, up the quality of these diaries. Otherwise, it's just going to be a bit like this. Uh, uh, so until I find that sponsor, uh, you're just going to have to put up with the quality how it is. But that's it for the first diaries and stay tuned for the rest. The rest of the week, I should say, looks so windy. And I have to say, we're probably going to see a lot more people coming out because we haven't seen so many at the moment. Everyone seems to be taking it easy. So hopefully the boys are going to be down here and I'll be getting the camera out and trying to pick out them special moves and those big wipeouts that we like to see and not forgetting the floaty jumps. We've seen Victor Fernandez doing them both ways in and out. So uh, Victor Fernandez already on the floaty jump front. Uh, stay tuned for more Pozo Diaries coming soon.